Hey guys, it's Silverfly and 16 more, it's going to be Fraser, welcome back to Amori. Um, it's been a little bit, so sorry if I forget things, but um, welcome back, this is really fun, this game though, it's honest, honestly a mirror. A floating mirror. Your friend smile warmly behind you. That's the uh, symbol I used, um, I got a symbol off the internet and um, Try to recreate it. I don't really think I need anything right now, so I'll just go back down. Um, what's this way? A train station. And there's uh, Basil's place down there. We're meant to go there, I believe. Some are dying. These flowers, they're already dying. We should do our best to take care of them until Basil gets back. Yeah, I water the plants. Achievement unlocked. Green thumb. A more gained one heart. And that giant turnip head thing is gone, thank god. That's new. Well, we ain't near. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Maybe before you entered, but that thing was definitely out of the ordinary. I think the vase was left somewhere without telling us? I don't know, that doesn't sound like him. He's usually so considerate about these things. Guys, I'm really worried. Is there nothing we can do? What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Aubrey. I'm worried too, but that won't solve anything. Let's go look around the forest. Maybe we went off and got lost. Yeah, cheer up, Aubrey. You'll find Basil. You guys are right. Okay, we've got to keep our hopes up. Let's go look for Basil in the vast forest. No, no, no word about that weird hole in the floor. Vast forest. They said that some of the, um... Some of the moves I take are really important, and there's a... A watermelon. A bit out of place. I wonder they call it Pinwheel Forest. It's like the uh, pinwheel is the start of uh, Otaki, I think is the what it's called. I can't remember. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a geographical member. Basil, Basil, where are you? I know. I bet my pet rock will know what to do. Makes sense. You could take care of a cactus and you have a pet rock. If that'd be a good boy, go find Basil. It's a rock. It's not going to do anything. It's a rock. <laughs> Try your best, buddy. There's no time to fool around, Kel. Hey, what the... Hector was just trying to help. No, you threw Hector and he landed in a pile on the floor. Let it go, you two. Can you help us out with focus? Pentagon Forest, Foggy Bridge. Okay, well. Oh. I understand why they're all You got Dandelion. Must be the last one of the season. <laughs> I can't do this with the sloth voice, so I'll just say that. Footprints here, alright, fine. Okay, now I might need some juice if I'm gonna keep on doing these. Um. And Jacks. Okay, well, um, um, I try and get a Fog Canyon, I guess, but, um, I want to check out that, uh, ladder that goes into space. Hello, what's this? Okay, Birdly's upset about something. Hey Van, is something wrong with Birdly? She seems a little upset. Okay, it's so a she. Oh, about that. Well, you see... Uh, let me explain. Look at this pole. It's missing the ball, I noticed. Can you believe it? What are we looking at? Yeah, I don't see it. Exactly! The tetherball was missing. 
Man, he used his arms and swung too hard, and now the ball's gone out far off somewhere. I wonder why they were always headbutting the ball. Never to be seen again. I told you not to use your arms, Van. You gotta use your head, like this. Sorry, Birdly. Using my head all the time gives me a headache. Looks like you don't have a hard head like I do. You're pretty hot headed, I'll grant you that. Oh, something just hit me. I'm sure I saw a wire flying off somewhere in that direction. If I can find the ball, maybe, um, into the vast forest, maybe I can find, uh, something... Maybe I can get, like, a special attack or a gift or something. Ah, uh, I'll never find it now. Might as well be lost forever. We can try and find it. I just made a birdie, we'll look for the ball for you. Heh. <laughs> you sure you want to do that? Vast forest is a pretty dangerous place, you know. Once we even got a super grizzly brawl with this ugly plant creature with dead empty eyes and a gaping mouth. I am of course, being cool and smart and all. You are just like Birdly from freaking... Delta Rune. Is there anyone from the universe looking around me? Probably is, honestly. A lot of the, um... Same way, why don't you... And your friends go with Birdly and keep, keep you out of trouble. I got myself, but... Who's happy? Oh jeez, that's my cue. I'm coming, Happy. It's out there, you guys. I'll see you when I get back. Come on, let's go find your lost ball. Don't worry, as long as we're together. Heh, <laughs> sure. Just don't get in the way when I show off my totally amazing headbutt skills. Ah, uh, let's just get this over with. I'm gonna re uh, replenish first, and Billy did not join our party, he's not behind us. There it is! Sweet, there's my lost ball! Yoink! Finally! Let's take this bad boy back to the playground. I mentioned him play some tether ball. I won't be playing with you, trust me. You're the type of person I'd never make friends with. Well, that was fun. Not. I'm gonna go play some tether ball. See you later, alligators, I'm out of here. But seriously, come see me before you do. I've got something special for you. Thank God. Hey dude, thanks for getting my last ball back. As you can see, I'm putting it to good use. Yep, she sure is. I was Lincoln. Since you're also going to help me out, I'm going to be generous and teach you my special skill. But first, I got a question for you. Which one of you has the hardest head? Me? I don't know. Well, duh, that has to be Audrey. Aubrey. Okay. Cal, seriously, shut up. <laughs> what did you just say? Well, chill out. No hard feelings. You know? You're awful. Mind you, you're like eight, so. <laughs> that sounds about right. Alright, I'm gonna teach you a skill just between hard headed folk like us. It's my speciality, headbutt. It's simple, really. You just run up someone and. Wham! Now you try. It looks like it would hurt. I'd also mess up my hair. And also ruin my bow. Oh, come on, I already live a little. Having messy hair never hurt anyone. Here I was looking proof of that. <laughs> yeah, you bet. <laughs> Fine. But if I'm doing this, I'm gonna give it all I got. Yeah. I feel dizzy. Maybe you should stop spinning. Well, wow, nice one, Aubrey. I knew I saw talent in you. Congratulations. <laughs> you passed the test with flying colors. If she keeps spinning like that any faster, she's gonna take off like a helicopter. Huh? What's happening? <laughs> the most they fall, they have to call you a bona fide headbutter. Aubrey learned headbutt. And take the certificate. Show your friends. I'm sure they'll be proud. You got a butt certificate. Delightful. Well, that was nice. Um... Hello everyone, how's it going? Have you found Basil yet? Uh, no. We found the ball, though. Hey, Maui. No luck so far, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I was the way I could help more. We're all doing our best. Maybe we should start looking outside this forest. I know. Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? The one east of the stump. We can't do that. I'm more he's afraid of heights. I'm not. I was living- I mean, I was living my life when I went to the Sky Tower in Auckland. I did it twice. I was leaning against the glass, living my life- best life. It was a coincidence that a year later someone, uh, died from the glass breaking. Because there's a little plaque there, and I'm pretty sure it's truthful, that the glass is stronger than the concrete that that tower is made out of. Well, the best of the sun up there, we gotta take our chances. But, mind you, the, um, this sky tower was like 173 meters high or something. It may be even higher. 
along with the Kali Charlton's and the Rainbow's End. All that stuff is in Auckland, which is really far away from where I am. I know, but... Relax, Aubrey. Amori, oh, you're going stronger and stronger every day. You can end up climbing in a ladder, can't you? Come on, little brother, face your fears. Mari's my... Okay, Mari's my, um... Sister. I was actually be nervous at first, but you should know that we all believe in you. I wonder what it would be like to have a sibling. Come on, Amori, it's just one measly little ladder. It's not measly and little. You said to yourself, I went into space. That's like... Kilometers. Hundreds of kilometers. I know about this. Do you really think you'll be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. If you're okay with it, I'm okay too. But if you get scared, you can always count me to back you up. Hey, Samori, you got some real courage. Is Zorbri like my girlfriend or something? Because they seem to be like... They're really supportive and everything. Go to... Go to Eastern Sun. We'll see you later, Mari. Bye now, stay safe. Remember, Mori, we're stronger than anything. And I also want to see what this, um... Headbutt ability does. Deals big damage when Aubrey also takes damage. Strong when Aubrey is angry. Well, I'm gonna go for the bracelet then. And do you want something? I want to give flowers to someone, but he's only interested in puzzles. If only I can find a flower puzzle or something. Maybe they would notice me. Did it notice this? I chose no first, but I wanted to see what happens if I do this. The stars shine brightly over here. You don't have a care in the world. I'm more than observe. Well, thank you. What does that do? Um. Predict who a foe will target next turn. That could be really helpful. Remember my receipt, Amori. You're stronger than you think. Don't worry, we'll be right behind you. Yeah, and if you fall, we'll be right here to catch you. Kill him, scare him. You won't fall, Amori, I promise. The hands. You're no longer afraid of heights. Man, I know there's a reason why we never climbed this ladder, but I can't put my finger on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh well, here goes nothing. That's because it goes into space, you can't breathe in the space. <laughs> So how are you guys doing? Having a good day? We're out up guys. Shoot. Where is he? I just had him. Simon? No, Hector, my pet rock. I swear I just had him in my pocket. No, Hector! I must have fallen out of my pocket when I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Hector. Should have been more careful. What's the big deal? It's just a rock, right? You can dare say that. It's not just a rock. He's family! Don't know, I'm sure he'll turn up soon, Cal. Probably. I sure hope so. He's a rock. Wait for me, Hector. I'll find you, I promise. He's a rock, so he can't, he can't have gone far. What the heck is that thing? What a thrill. Okay, it's a snake. It's the snake that gives me my allowance. Sounds like astral-like music, almost. A lot of watermelons to break. Welcome to the moon, guys! First! I don't care who came first. Hero? He's probably exhausted. <sighs> Lighter. It's just... <laughs> never ends. That's one step for Carol, one giant lad, one large step for Carol kind. You know you don't own this planet. <laughs> Is that how it goes? You weren't here first. Wait, hold on. Is that my butt certificate? Lay anything down right now. What if somebody sees it? Oh wait, look at this thing fluttering in the wind. There's no wind in space! So majestic, so beautiful. Here I do something. One sec. Just catching my breath. Actually, give me a minute. Never mind. It's in lock, so majestic, so beautiful. Other little campsites, cattail fields. 
Let's use it up camp. Other worlds. What a bop. How the hell did Maui get up here? <laughs> How did Maui get up here so fast? What a bop. A vending machine, but it's soda. That's a very expensive vending machine. Looks like those are points of fast travel. Welcome to Otherworld. An unofficial pit stop for worry space travelers and popular family from the camping ground. Ah, uh, you just love the smell of firewood, the sound of running water, and the crisp space breeze. This game has got way better than chocolate. It all makes vast emptiness for space a little more bearable, don't you think? Sure. Those space tube food. Sounds enjoyable enough? You and your friends feel like new. I'll save. Yeah, I picked up with my friends. No, I'm going to be a space pilot, actually, though. In the future, these could be possible, primarily due to the fact that there might be mining rigs on other planets and they might carry incredibly valuable cargo. Like, I don't know, titanium from Jupiter or something, or liquid diamond from Uranus. I'm going to travel all around the universe. Our search for Basil has taken us pretty far from home. If traveling the universe is what you want, you definitely have a head start. Not what kind of friends I'll meet, what foes we'll face. It'll be like an epic journey to end all journeys. You're actually carefree about this, Kel. You should forget that we're looking for Basil. Remember? Our dear friend Basil who needs us? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just trying to be positive. I have complete faith that we will save him. Besides, the heroes always win. Isn't that right, hero? <laughs> Very funny, Kel. Well, he's not really a hero, he's... He's the kind of guy who can never say no. Heroes certainly are hero because he heals us. Thanks for a good time. I'm assuming these are like, um... Fast travel points or something. Or not, never mind. There's something here. You got can. A recycling machine. What was you like to recycle? The can? You put a can in the recycling machine. The recycling machine dispenses five clams. Thanks for doing your part to keeping your environment clean. Please actually do that IRL, guys. Who are you? Space Pirate Guy. Hold, children! You are now entering the vicinity of the Captain of the Space Pirates, the Master of the Solar System, the Prince of the Universe, the one and the Cap Captain Space. I mean, uh, you're entering the house of Space Boyfriend. Well, the Captain of the Space Pirates lives here? That's awesome! I want to be a Space Pirate too. Yeah, well, so did I, once. Space Boyfriend doesn't do much these days. So much of the Space Pirates got fed up and left with the ship, and left with the main ship. It's just a straggler is here doing all the Space Boyfriend's chores and whatever. Yesterday, me and the guys spent the day cleaning and throwing away all this trash. Ah, <sighs> I don't think my own job for this. I know, babysitter. Ah, I'm sorry, that sounds awful. Maybe we can talk some sense to them. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Space, Captain Space Boyfriend, I mean, Space Boyfriends. Got two sides to him, you see. We should at least try. You never know. You might know something about how to find Basil. Maybe he knows where to find my paper or kickstart. Yeah, sure, that too. What are we waiting for? Let's go see him already. So about your job, sir. Well, you better soon, I promise. Huh. Thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. I assume this is Space Boyfriend. <laughs> oh, okay, in Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend, wake up! That's not gonna make him better, Cal. What? <laughs> <laughs> My precious sweetheart. Oh, he sounds so sad. There must be somewhere to help him. <laughs> oh, my sweetheart. Where have you run off to now? I can hardly read that, it's so spasmy. Oh, no, not again. Space Boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Yeah, my guy, this will cheer you right up.
Huh? Why isn't anything playing? Oh no, the boombox. It's empty. He's never gonna wake up now, or even worse, he's gonna wake up angry. Oh man, oh man. Where can that special mixtape be? Someone must have thrown away the special mixtape when we were cleaning. What's the big deal? It's just a cassette, right? Well, you see, whenever Space Boyfriend is away from his sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. The only way to snap him out of it is by playing a special mixtape. There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He's lovesick. Ugh. When Space Boyfriend says like this, the once great culmination of space parts will be lost for eternity. Ow. Man, that sucks. Well, let's go. Hey, where are you going? We should help him out. You should know it really sucks to lose someone important to you. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. I was thinking about when you saw my stuffed toy. <laughs> huh? I don't remember anything like that. I do, that was last week. Yeah, so yeah, uh, my perfect goddess. <coughs> my sweet jelly full donut. I think it's getting worse. What should we do, more? Should we help him? Yeah. Thanks, my guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, take this. You got a junkyard key. This can unlock the junkyard. The special mixtape should be somewhere in there. You can get through using the sentries as the best work in the backyard. Pretty convenient, eh? Awfully convenient. Talk across the universe. Well, let's go. The Earth looks peaceful. Would you like to disturb it? No. I don't want to disturb Earth. It's already disturbed enough. There's a worm in a wormhole there. What's down this way? I'm curious. Oh, what's this? What's this area? Wait, this isn't the place where I came out. I'm guessing I can use that crate to get back down to Earth, though, quite literally. Backpack 2. Convenient storage device, defense 2, and the 3 leaf clover is a regular clover with 3 luck. I'll put that on Cal. Don't worry, Harry, it gets on it eventually. You can count on it. Overall, the ground is pretty clean for a junkyard. Oh, I can break down the traffic cones as well. Gold watch. I'm guessing it's not made of gold. Oh, right, and... Can I get new weapons or something? Granola bar. So this is the junkyard, eh? Time to start digging. Uh, what are we looking for again? Space boyfriend special mixtape. Right out. If we do that, it's gonna take decades. Hey, look, I found a can. You got a can. Uh, I guess that's a start. Glass bottle. Okay, these are recyclables, so. Air horn. What happens when you flicker a man at somebody? Let's see what this guy is like. Kel is digging through trash. Kel finds a can of cherry soda. Oh my god, Kel, you're useful. <laughs> I'll start with my skill, which is uh, to stab.
This should be good. Let's see how much I took this damage. Now, well, I'm winning on. Now, I'm really low on HP, um, juice, so I'll. Fifteen juice, apple juice is better than that. Um, there. I use the low quality items. Cardboard. Well, fortunately, um, maybe that guy has the um thing stuck in him, but wasn't like a huge block of junk in the way. You might even call it a roadblock. Get it? Don't worry, everyone. This big old block is nothing compared to my swing. Hey, Mori. You know how to how you can cut roots and traffic cones? Well, you're not the only one with a special ability around here. I, for one, can smash large blocks out of the way. Can't kind of have a special ability too, but I'm not sure about Cal. Just make me leader by selecting a tag and then play me by holding tab. I'll get rid of this hunk and chunk easy peasy. That's cool. You have a bat, you little slugger. All right, let's kill this guy. Cars digging through trash, killed and find anything. Well, we won. In all fairness, though, we should probably uh, try and find a certain area. We defeated the Doom Box. It gave us $21 and a more good level 5 new bread slice. We will go to level 5 and we've got 7 energy to spare. At the moment, cat and mouse. Um. Use on Aubrey because they only had five HP missing. Um. Come in, house lunch. My life ones need you, so I'll use it. There we go. Roll. Reasonably full now. Apple juice, chocolate, and all of that. Candy. I still have a lot of that, so, um. I'd say we're all in relatively good condition to take down this guy. Tell us digging through trash. Go find a can of cherry soda. You're always helpful. What is this thing? Dial up! <laughs> huh. Whenever the phone used to ring, it was a dark time in the early 2000s. Dial up. I've been going pretty extensively, so I hope that, um, oh, puzzle pieces. The flower puzzle, I can give that to, um, I think her name's Daisy. Yeah, it's locked. You can probably open it using a junkyard key. Let's get a bear bot. Try something here for us, easy. Mm, rude person. You can't just yell people, what are the people go? Jeez, that's some tech for you. Nah, no, there's no fuss. I'll handle this one. Take me, Amori. Okay. Ahem. Greetings, sir, conveyor boat. My companions do not require your assistance in changing the directions to your conveyors. Will you, will you and your friends please help us? Bzzz. Ah. Mm, nice person. Okay. <laughs> he sounds like me and half my mates when we were, uh, you know, like, um... When we were in English, we always had to be like all sophisticated. It's like, speed sophisticated or you're out of the class. I'm just like, geez, fine, calm, you, calm down. Well, I guess if I was speaking. You got ramen. I keep some ramen in a toilet. I wouldn't eat that. I love, I used to eat ramen all the time, mainly because I didn't have time to cook when I was in university. It was really tough for us though. Comet. Wait a minute. Get back to Amori, please. Um, I just wanna... 
It was 80% of heart. That is good. The problem with my ramen consumption is that it was huge. Um... Common hammer. A hammer made from meteors. What a lucky find. Increase the luck and attack. Glasses goes looks my aim to if it's lost. That's the key. So it seems like uh, I don't really know what Kel does, but um, he manipulates people into doing basically what you want. But uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, end the episode here because I don't know exactly how long I've been recording for, but I think it's been roughly an hour. It's probably going to be longer than that, and I probably have more than enough time. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz. And if you are feeling generous, why don't you just turn to your family, maybe your friends are interested in, of course. Consider subscribing, please. It's 100% free. You can subscribe any time. I'll see some... Thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll of course be seeing you in the next one. Uh, deuces!